Hey guys, it's Fayon here, and today I'm going through the Scorpion. So the Scorpion is a cool transitional movement. It's a little bit more complex because it involves going around the back with a back hook kicking action. Today I'm going to go through some tips and cues on how to introduce this into your practice. Let's go. We can start understanding this movement by learning how to coordinate the legs. Lying down flat on your belly with your hands spread out beside you into a T-shape, you're then going to twist your body and try and reach your foot to your hand. Don't allow the opposite hand to lift away from the ground and try and press your chest on the ground so that you twist with the rest of your body. This is a great movement to coordinate the spine through rotation whilst also trying to see where your legs are in space without looking as to where they are touching. Being able to coordinate your feet and know where they are in space without looking will really help you with the scorpion. If this is too difficult and you find your chest lifting or you cannot rotate through your spine enough, then you can make it easier by placing your hands closer to your feet. You can also look at your hand when you first start to know the positioning of your feet in space relative to your hand. As you get better, you want to challenge yourself by putting your hands further away from your feet and also not looking at where your foot is touching so to challenge your sense of proprioception. Once you get comfortable with that, we can start integrating it from the squat position. We are going to do the same leg movement by placing our hands on the ground in front of us, kicking over and then landing back into squat. The challenge here is knowing where your body is in space so that when you kick over and around, you can place your leg softly and land back into squat. I place my hands down, I kick my leg over and back around and then I place my leg down beside the other leg to land back into squat. The goal of this movement is to coordinate the legs and the body weight so that when you shift and rotate you land back into a comfortable squat and you don't fall over. If you don't coordinate your legs well you'll end up with your weight behind you and you'll fall back over onto your bum. The next step is the low scorpion. This is a more advanced transition where you stay lower to the ground from the squat position. Unlike the high scorpion, the goal of this movement is to transition with your body weight, namely your hips, to be as low as possible to the ground. This will require a good amount of pushing strength and is actually a good way to dynamically develop the Keto de Rins, which is the fall on the kidneys, a movement taken from capoeira. Once you have this movement, the scorpion becomes a cool and powerful way to transition in and out of squat. And you can see here, even from the lizard crawl, I can use this movement to transition out of it and then go back into the squat position. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's a little bit tricky, especially working all the way up to that final QDR progression. But once you get that, it gives you a lot of options to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, I've got a lot of videos coming, a lot more content. You can check out the Library of Locomotion on the website. That's at thepassivehang.com. And if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message.